Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is what you guys have been asking me for. I promised you guys that I would show you some of my videos that I created when my hair was at that awkward length stage. Um, I've been very apprehensive about showing these videos because um, I just wasn't really confident in my hair back then and I was still kind of trying things out and testing things out. So um, they were just videos that I never posted, but you guys asked me to go back and find my videos and post them. And so this is um, probably one of my most proud styles. I did Bantu knots on my hair and I really, really liked the end result. So I'm going to show you guys that process and how I got to where I am. So this Bantu Knot video was recorded in March 2018 and it is currently March 2020. So literally exactly two years ago is when this video was recorded. Um, and so you can see, you'll be able to see from the video um, just how much my hair has grown since then. I have not tried Bantu Knots on my hair since this video. Um, this was the first time I tried them and it was the last time. No particular reason. Um, the process just kind of got a little tedious and I fell in love with wash and goes. Um, but I haven't tried Bantu not since this video. So ed while I was editing it and deciding to post it, I was thinking like, wow, maybe I should try Bantu knots on my hair again um, because I'm sure it would look completely different. So this is not a Bantu knot out. This is actually a twist out with um, perm rods. And so um, I did this yesterday, just trying it out for the first time. And I actually really, really like it. Um, I went to a gala last night. So it was a really like elegant look. Um, so I really, really like it. Um, but like I said, I haven't tried Bantu knots on my hair since it's been this length. And so I'm really curious um, just to kind of see if it looks the same or if it looks a little different um, or like how I'll have to adjust my technique for the Bantu knots. Um, but I'm gonna stop talking and get right into it. I have dug in my archives for you guys and I have pulled out um, some of my videos that I was kind of scared to share, but um, you guys wanted to see them and um, yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so I am starting out on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. And I am going in with my Novex leave-in conditioner um, just to kind of help in my detangling process. Y'all, look at my hair. <laughs> oh man, it just doesn't feel like it was really that long ago. Um, but what I'm doing right here is I'm preparing to blow dry my hair because I want to do the Bantu knots on stretched hair. But um, I have to detangle it first. And I think that was the toughest part about my hair being this length. Um, I mean, just watch me kind of go through this detangling process. Um, so I'm basically separating my hair into small sections, detangling with my authentic and original Denman brush. This is the oldest detangling brush I have. Um, and I had it before the Demon brush really like got a bunch of hype <laughs> but you can see like how good it is working to detangle um, my hair in this video but I am detangling each section and then just kind of clipping it um, and I'll let you guys see like the whole detangling process so you can see how I kind of control the thickest part of my hair which is like at the top um, I just remember at this time my hair was just really really thick and I just had no idea how I was going to blow dry it and so I knew I had to break it up into sections. Okay, so now that my hair is broken up into sections, I am actually going to put a little bit of heat protectant on my hair and attempt to blow dry it out. So this was also a struggle. Um, 
I attempted at first to blow dry it on a warm setting, but I think eventually I found that like that was just taking entirely too long. So I just went ahead and switched that thing to high heat. <laughs> But I am um, blow drying each section on its own to make sure that I can get um, a good little blowout. Eventually I had to try to resort to this comb attachment um, just to see if it could just give me a better, a better blow dry. Blow drying in sections um, was really just the best way to do this and even though it was definitely a struggle I'm like switching attachments um, throughout each section and I think at one point like the blow dryer gets really hot and I have to take a break <laughs> y'all this was like really a struggle but this was this was you know really where I was at. So I repeated this process over my whole head and these are the final blown out results. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Feeling a little like Asada over here, but that's all right. So what I am doing here is I'm splitting my hair into sections um, and it's blown out now. And what I'm using is the Eden Body Works um, Moisturizing Souffle. I'll leave it in the description box. Um, but that's the only product that I'm using on this blown out hair. And so I'm taking my hair and I am twisting it, just a little two strand twist, as tight as I can. And I'm not worrying about how tight it is because my hair is already blown out and dry. So to make sure I'm getting that definition, I'm doing it as tight as I can. And I'm pinning it, like securing the Bantu knot with a bobby pin. And so again, just putting that moisturizer on my hair and making sure I'm detangling again. And I am twisting my hair. And then once I twist it, I'm like wrapping the twist in like a little ball. So they're Bantu knots, but like also like twists. and then securing it with that bobby pin. So I know these sections in the front are fairly large sections, um, but I think it's because the sections that I had in the back were fairly medium and um, the top of my hair up here, is the curl pattern is a lot looser than the back of my hair. So I felt that I could kind of get away um, with doing larger sections and kind of like adding some type of dimension. Um, to my hair so that's why these top sections up here are a little bit bigger than the back sections
Okay, so I've had these Bantu knots in, I left them in for like a complete day and then half of this, like the middle of the next day. So um, I, I did them one night, I slept in them overnight, I had them in all day and I slept in them again and this is the middle of the next day. So maybe like a day and a half is how long I kept these in. Um, I did go out and so I put this little scarf on because I didn't want to walk around with my Bantu knots because they're not like cute yet. My hair is still short, so my Bantu knots are like, you know, like little, tiny. So they've been in, this is what they look like. Uh, my hair still looks moisturized even after two days. So I'm really liking that Eden Body Works Curl Souffle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the bobby pins out. So now I'm going to take my main choice um, oil. This is from the ancient Egyptian line. I've talked about this in a previous video. I really like this oil. Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit um, in my hands. And since my hair is already moisturized, it feels really good actually. I'm just gonna like brush it over all of my hair. Like that. Oh, I forgot a bobby pin. Okay. I'm gonna brush it over all of my hair and then I'm gonna take this back piece and I'm just going to unravel it so it looks like that, if you can see. And then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm just going to pull, untwist the twist into two, like that. And then I'm gonna take each twist and pull it apart um i don't know how many times i just did that i just pulled each side apart once so it's like four separations um but i may pull it apart again i just need to do the rest of my hair undo the rest of my hair and see how it looks I know I'm gonna have to separate these at the top a little bit more, but I'm gonna get the rest of my hair down and see how that's gonna look. Oh Lord, I don't know what we're working with. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. But it's so funny that like with these styles, it's always like trial and error. So, you never know how the style is going to come out. And then like while you're doing it, you're like, oh shit. And then while you're taking it down, you're like, oh shit. <laughs> and then eventually at the end is where the style comes out better than you even, you know, pictured or imagined it coming out. And then if not, you just work with it. That was a loss. You never do that style again or try a different method. Now this is the big knot that I did in the middle of my head because my curls in the middle of my head are looser, like at the top middle are looser. And so I did a big twist thinking I was doing something. We'll see if that turns out to be the right idea or the best idea. And y'all disregard my nails. It's um, it's been a rough wait, waiting on tax season to come through. I actually owed some taxes this year. So I'm not even getting a check. So, you know, it was either rent or my fucking nails. And I made the adult decision and chose rent. I should have chose my nails. I'll just play. 
I have taken all of the Bantu knots out. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm kinda gonna, um, I got a pick y'all. I'm gonna take my pick and kinda just like manipulate my roots. I know in the back I have some pretty big parts. So I'm just gonna take my pick and kinda just Manipulate those roots a bit. My hair feels super, super moisturized. Um, this is also the first time I have done a style um, without using any type of gel or anything. So, this is cute. This is interesting. Okay, okay. This is interesting. I think I like it. So I wanna pick for volume. And I also want to pick to hide my parts. So I can kind of feel where my parts are. And that's where I'm picking, picking right through those parts. Okay. So the last part of the style, like, you know, it looks okay, but you know, you got to lay those edges. So um, I like to wet my edges a little bit. So this is the finished look, the Bantu knot. And y'all, like my hair is so soft. Like, wow, it's so soft. Um, I love, I love these curls. I didn't know how they were gonna come out. And like I said, y'all, like I said, you when you're doing the style, you never know how it's gonna turn out until it's done. And when I tell you that I love this, my hair feels so soft, like, and I love the, the definition. So to the guy who told me that I should straighten my hair, he can kick rocks because this hair is here to stay and i just love this i think i like this better than my twist out although i haven't tried to twist out in maybe like two months or so so my twist out may look different i've also trimmed my end since my last twist out also so i don't know i just really like the way these curls are i really like this oh my gosh <sighs> so that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you like this tutorial and you like this style, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not. Um, let me know how you're feeling about this style. And if you have any other methods for your Bantu knots or for any other styles, um, let me know in the comment section. Thank y'all. Bye.